Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, navigating the interface, labeling properties. Let's get started. So if you're relatively new to ArcGIS Pro, you may have noticed that trying to label might be a little different. You see here we have a feature ribbon, but if the layer is not selected, the feature ribbon is hidden. Let's bring that back. You'll notice that we have something called labeling. This brings out a completely different layout that also has some hidden items that you'll have to expand to view. Notice that the labeling pane had popped up. And now I'm looking at label class. This is a far cry from what we're used to seeing. Let's take a trip on a time machine to ArcMap. We're used to going to properties and then taking a look at the labels here. And then if we had classes, we had to go through a dropdown. There was a series of rabbit holes that we may have had to go through to do different and specific things to our labels. Returning to Pro, let's highlight some of the areas you're familiar with that are now in new locations. So if I want to highlight on a specific location, and let's say I want to see the current owner, I can choose the field here. But I can also go a little bit deeper and start using expressions. You may be familiar with SQL, but now you can also use Arcade, Python, JScript, and VBScript. You can also set the visibility range. From here, you can expand outward, start looking at the appearance of your labels. You can change the font, as well as the color. You can also add Halo without having to go through that nested symbology from ArcMap. You will have to click Apply, which is new. I'm going to go ahead and start making this look the way I'd like it to. Now that I've set a color and look that I'm happy with, I've clicked Apply. But what I'd like to do is also change the scaling. I'm going to navigate to the Labeling ribbon and quickly type some scales. Keep in mind when you see this, the Out Beyond means I don't wish to see the labels when I'm out beyond a scale of 1500. Let's zoom in. Now we can see those labels. Now stepping back into our Wayback Machine, we have our placement properties from ArcMap. Remember this tab, very familiar, right? Stack labels, overrun, conflict resolution. So how do I get something that's analogous? You'd navigate back up to Label Placement, and you'd find that here. Drop down these arrows to expand. The Chess Piece Knight, you can see Stack Label, Overrun, Reduce Size, as well as Remove Duplicates, and all the other things you've been looking for. One more thing to cover. If you're looking for where you turn on and off the Maplex Label Engine, this is where you'd find it, along with your Labeling Priorities and Weights and Abbreviation Dictionaries. You can also pause labeling or view your unplaced labels. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.